Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us and today we are making a splash. Splash. With a, oh, <laughs> a wave. So this one is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I personally love the ocean. I'm a beach person. So that's mm, why I'm excited to paint this that with you. That explains a lot. <laughs> okay, so the supplies we're using is a blank piece of paper because we're gonna be drawing here together. I tape down my paper so it doesn't move. And I use my favorite, the Holbein soft tape. And then we have our brush. We have our palette, our cup of water, a paper towel, and the colors, grab any blues that you have because the ocean is blue. It also has a little bit of green if you want to paint a little bit of green. But the colors I'm using are sea blue, berry, and I don't think I need black this time. So those are the two blues I'm using. Then the fun tool is this masking marker. And that is going to make, if you look at our waves, it's going to make the cool. wave part and the white part of it. So it looks like it's crashing. Just so much fun. Gnarly. No, good one. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first step is, is let's do our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> and then we fist pump. And then we meet Keenan. Oh, Keenan. Our cameraman. I'm gonna so. shuffle on over. <laughs> Hiya, guys. <laughs> He's the one that said gnarly. <laughs> okay. Gnarly. So the first step is, is grab your masking marker. Now I have used mine already. So when I open it, mine has a blue tip. But if you have not used this before, what I want you to do is I want you to grab, we have a how to start guide if you have our box. And the steps you're gonna do is you're gonna shake it. You're gonna grab a practice piece of, piece of paper. And again, if this is your first time, or actually if it's not, I want you to do this with me too, because we're gonna test it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push down and pump. So mine is working, so I have this blue that's already there, and when I draw it, it works. But if this is your first time, you are going to take a few steps to be able to pump it and then shake it. So remember those steps to get this started. Now, let's put this over here. Okay, the first step to our wave is we're gonna make it look like it's crashing into itself. So open it up and I want you to draw a curve at the top. So we're drawing the top of the wave and a curve like that. Now you will see I drew it at the top half because the wave is, the top is up here. So draw it over here. And the next step is, is we're gonna draw the curl of it. Cause when waves come over you, they curl like this. So you're gonna start right here and I want you to go up. And then right here, I want you to come around and curve to the right. Oh. Look at that. Neato. You just drew a wave. So everyone is going to look unique, just like you and I, cause we are unique. And so yours may look a little bit different than mine. Now we're going to draw squiggly lines for the foam part of the wave. So on your line, I want you to just draw squiggles. I love Have fun. squiggles. <laughs> add some squiggles, add some dots around it. So while we're doing this, I wanna teach you that what this is, is this is masking fluid inside here. Which means? Which means when we paint, it is going to resist the watercolor and not show it. Nice. Now, also while I'm doing this, mine kind of ran out, so I may need to go and pump in my practice paper, because this may happen to you. So you might need to pump it a few times to get it going again, so then I can see it more. There we go. So the magic will happen when we start to paint. So right now we're just adding our foam part, add some dots, then what we're gonna do is you're gonna add curved lines inside the wave. So we're gonna draw it similar to this line, but inside. So we're gonna curve and curve, maybe some short ones. You are creative, so you get to make this your own. Swirls. Swirls and curves, yes. Neat. Just like that, maybe you add some dots. What are some other beach words that you've heard? Dude. Dude! <laughs> 
Sick, man. <laughs> Very spot on. <laughs> Okay, so what the next step is we're going to use our watercolors. So when we use watercolors, I have my palette out and we're gonna make this really, really light blue for the sky. So the magic trick is you're gonna use some blue and I'm using my berry blue, but you can use either of your blues. And the trick is you're gonna use water. So water, let's show you. Water will make any color lighter. So here's my blue, but watch what happens. I'm gonna add a lot of water. So let's put this up here. Can you see that? Not yet. If you bring it down a little farther. Put it right here. Thank you. There we go. So I put some blue on my palette, but I'm adding a lot of water. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Let's see what happens. Oh, good oh. <laughs> So do you see how much lighter that is? Yeah. So we did that with just water. We didn't do anything. And again, if you want to add a different blue, you can do that. But what we're going to do is you're going to pick it up and we're going to paint the sky. So we're painting around it. It's a pretty color. Yours might be really, really light. Add more water. And that masking pen, that dries fast. It does. And I painted a little bit over it because that's the white foam part, mm. but I didn't paint my wave yet. We're just painting around it. Then next step, let's paint our wave. So I'm going to use the sea blue. So this one's a little bit more like the, the blue that we all know, but then I'm going to use some sea blue, which is a lighter, like kind of turquoisey color. Mm, closer to the green on the yeah. color charts. Yes. So pick up your brush and you're going to dip it in water. Hit it off to the side and you're going to dip in. And I'm going to start with the top part of my wave. And I'm painting over. Let's go like this and curl it a little bit because that's the wave. I'm painting over the lines that we did with our pen and look at that. You can see it. It's alive. It is coming to life. And I'm adding a curve. That is so cool. I love this pen so much. Do you know what the largest wave ever recorded? How tall? By humans was measured? No. 1,720 feet. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That's huge. I'm 5'2". Well, that's several of you. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so now we have our blue, but I want to make one more That's color. That's 330.7 of you. <gasps> 300 of me? 330 <laughs> Nicoles. <laughs> That's so fun. Uh, I bet you're a little bit shorter than me, or you might be taller than me. Five foot isn't that tall. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sea blue that I had, and I'm gonna add a little bit of my berry blue to make a little bit of a darker blue. Cool. And I'm going to keep painting my wave, but when I paint this, I'm going to blend the colors and touch it so that it makes a new color. So we're blending it. Now I'm going to put some berry blue. Let's get a little bit darker blue and we're going to paint the bottom part. So waves, especially when it's in the sun, it's all different colors. So if you want to mix in some other colors in here, you can do that. But we're painting all the way to the bottom. And, whoa, look at these color explosions. Ooh, they're moving around. That's even better. Yeah, it's so fun. And here's the cool thing when you look at this, everyone's a little bit different. So the shape of mine's a little bit different and I think that is beautiful. Now, let's clean our brush. Let me put in the, the shots so you can see. So when I clean my brush, I sweep the bottom of it and then I'm gonna set it on my napkin and now here's the fun thing, is that you get to sit and watch what happens. So it's gonna explode, it's gonna change colors a little bit. And when this is dry, you have two options. You can either let it be, because it looks really cool, or what you can do is this has some. So when it dries, and this one's fully dry, is you can use your finger and you can rub. 
Is this in the shot? Oh, yeah, nice. Is this good? So do you see how I'm rubbing? Oh. And the marker is coming off. So it's a little, you can kind of tell, but it's really cool. So this, the gum marker dried and then I'm taking it off. So those are two different options that you can do. Whoa. Not fun? Magical. And we have a fun fact for you. Did you know, or do you know the five oceans of the world? Oh snap. Do you know them? Yes. Which one do I... we live by? I don't live by oh, yeah. any ocean. I live in California. <laughs> so California is by the Pacific Ocean. So let's show them actually, because okay, I want to I do some teaching. Thank you. So if you can see this, so actually this kind of covers, but we're over here. This is the United States. Now you may live somewhere else and I would love to know where you live in the world because yeah. we have some people joining us from different parts of the country. So the Pacific Ocean and that wraps around all the way to the other side. So the Pacific Ocean is the biggest ocean. It is the biggest one in the world. How big is it? Do you know? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> but we have, there are four other ones. So you have the Pacific, the Atlantic is on the other side. So if some of you live in Florida or New York or on the right side of the United States, you're going to hit the Atlantic Ocean. And then we have down here the Southern Ocean and then the Indian Ocean. So if you're in Japan or, or I guess Japan's more over there. So if you're by Australia, you're going to hit that. And then the top is the Arctic Ocean. That's so cool. Crazy. So now you know the five oceans of the world. And guess what, 94% of our living species live in the ocean. 94%? That is a lot. That means 6% is on land. Holy cow. Yeah, that blew my mind. That's a lot of aquatic animals. Right? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so fun to learn. That's mind boggling. <laughs> We're learning while we paint. So this was such a fun one. And when you're dry, you can take the tape off. And then what I want you to do is I want you to hold it up and show us a picture because we want to see what you make. And we have a shout out actually, because another fun project is our Sunny Self-Portrait Project. So these, this is Lennon, Harper, and Levi. And they all painted this project. And you see how unique theirs, their all is? It's unique to them. I love how creative they are. So thank you three for painting with us. We love to see it. So. Share with us. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Project, and we have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. We want to see. Share with us. Tell us what ocean you painted, or maybe you made up your own, because that's what we like to do here. Ooh, yes. So remember, you are, remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative, and we'll see you next time. Bye.